that they would do a thing like that to a cemetery. Emotions running high at Canyon View Cemetery in Summerland after district staff decided to enforce a loosely worded bylaw. Today, the cemetery is mostly bare, most of the flowers gone, all ornaments removed. Leonard Carter rushed to the cemetery after getting word that it had been cleaned out, looking for a lamp he had placed at his uncle's grave. See, it's like a lantern, but it's not like those. The lantern is gone, leading to this outburst. They've stolen it, as far as I'm concerned. They've defaced the gravestone. As I said, they're just as bad as people doing knocking gravestones over. That's what I'm thinking. They took the flowers, the laws, everything gone. Frank Cox and his family showed up to see if the flowers he had placed at his wife's headstone had disappeared. They likely ended up in a garbage can. Some of them don't even look like they're that badly, you know, badly deteriorated, and yet they're all sitting in the garbage can. To me, that's that's wrong. I have a plot. This woman says she and her husband are destined to be buried at Canyon View, but today she's having second thoughts. But if they don't straighten this out and get it straightened out, huh? I almost think that, yes, we wouldn't be buried here. So I'm not, not sure. too happy with you doing that. District staff is taking the heat for the controversy. It was Ron Darling's staff that did the removing, and he admits it was a poor decision. Uh, it was a mistake, and, uh, you know, we admit it. It was solely our department's you know, decision to do it. Council was not advised ahead of time and usually on political decisions we make sure they are. Uh, in this case we didn't and that was just another mistake and I'm sure if we had given them the opportunity for comment it would never would have happened but we didn't and it just compounded the problem. Darling says a new bylaw is in the works that will add more flexibility to what can be placed at the cemetery but the damage has been done. This is where most of the artifacts ended up across the street from the cemetery. Staff say at one point this entire area was filled with artifacts, including small statues, artificial flowers, and even a ping pong racket, a ping pong racket that obviously meant something to someone. In Summerland, Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.